Williamson County is the 12th fastest growing county in Texas. It is a suburban county to Travis County, to Austin area in particular. Williamson County is known for excellent schools, for beautiful areas, for progressive systems. Williamson County is excellent at looking at resources available and extending the resources where they should be in place. It started out just wanting to get the partners together. We had planned the sequential intercept mapping, and when it happened, it happened at a point of a dramatic announcement that our crisis intervention team would be ending that week that the SIM mapping was occurring. A sequential intercept mapping workshop is a strategic planning tool where we bring community leaders together and they study how a person in their community moves through the criminal justice system when they have mental illness or intellectual disability. So the goal of one of these workshops is to identify resources, gaps, and you create new partnerships that allow the community to divert individuals away from the criminal justice system when it's possible. All of our focused efforts were identifying how do we help and how do we make sure that training is there? How do we continually communicate? And how do we make sure there's no wrong door? So not only did we have in our minds that we wanted to build the uh, intercept mapping in Williamson County, we had this huge gap that was about to occur and we were scrambling trying to figure out how to number one, educate law enforcement officers who have never had to take crisis intervention and how do each of us respond to those needs. We'll start working several months in advance of the workshop with the community. That way we can help them ensure that the right people get to the workshop. We want people from all levels of the intercept, including law enforcement, local mental health authority representatives, as well as people from the courts, people with lived experience, and other agencies as well. These workshops are a day and a half, and on the first day we're going to focus on making a map of the local system as well as identifying the shared priorities in the community. On the second day, we're gonna focus on creating a community action plan. That plan is gonna focus on the strengths and the available resources, as well as identifying what next steps the community can take. So it's really helpful that we actually map out a visual representation of that community system, and it allows everyone to see their part in the big picture. The ultimate goal for the workshop is to create a strategic plan that is concrete and allows the community to know what are our next steps to improving our system for people with mental illness. After the workshop, JCMH is gonna provide the community with a report. That report is going to include information about the local system map, the gaps and opportunities, community priorities for change, a specific action plan, and recommendations from JCMH. The report can also identify and shape the type of technical assistance that's going to be needed by the community following the workshop. We have benefited in so many ways from the sequential intercept mapping and it just starts a conversation. We were able to really kind of develop a system that was activating a mobile crisis outreach team quicker for a more partnership in the community to see that person one-on-one, -on -one. just by willingness to recognize, no, we're not perfect. Tell us how we can improve. I think that was also another common thread that uh, was beneficial throughout the SIM. We all recognized we're human. We recognize we're facing a crisis and we were able to come together understanding what's available because we were able to map it on the map about currently this is where we are and this is what we're hoping to achieve. 